Opioid addiction is an epidemic that really has hit southeastern Massachusetts particularly hard. It's an illness and that's how it's being approached, especially towards women who are struggling with addiction while pregnant. And new this morning, Kate Walsh is introducing us to a program through South Coast Health that's really helping women and their babies. Program began in 2016 and just recently received a grant from the state to help this vulnerable population of moms in need. The ultimate goal is to hopefully keep mom and babies together. It's a lifeline, quite literally, for mothers struggling with addiction and their newborn babies. New Beginnings is a program out of South Coast Health that's working to connect these moms with the services they need in the New Bedford and Fall River area. According to the latest state data, which is from 2017, southeastern Massachusetts had the second highest percentage of women who were pregnant and addicted to opioids in the state. New Beginnings has provided crucial support to better these statistics. They can go to rehab, they can be in an inpatient facility, they can go to an outpatient program, there's medication that they can take during the pregnancy that's safe for mom and the baby. Um, and it's actually better for mom and baby, hopefully, that they are in a program, you know, while she's pregnant. The first few months at home are filled with pediatrician appointments, but RN postpartum care coordinator Lauren Souza pointed out that those drop off over time. And the period of time that moms are more likely to relapse is between 7 and 12 months after giving birth. There is a gap between that six to nine month period. So we wonder if that has anything to do with it. You know, if moms are getting less frequent supportive services, maybe that's why that period is really challenging. So we want to make sure we're really connected with those moms during that time. Sousa said they work in large part with the state, but new beginnings can help women connect with access to housing or recovery coaches like Suzanne Gomez at High Point Treatment Centers. It is hard work. And so identifying those resources, those people to call out to when you're stressed or worried or just having a hard time, but also building those relationships when things are good. She said that way there's a support system if things get tough again. And even more help is on the way in the form of a grant from the state. It was a competitive selection process. and. You know, we're happy that they've decided to work with us and help us expand our program. Starting July 1st, the grant allows for a 21 month program in which New Beginnings can hire a specialist to expand their reach into the community and with providers and agencies. In this past year, New Beginnings has seen more moms able to bring their babies home with them from the hospital. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.